Marquise McCants is charged in federal court with a host of crimes. His co-defendants, eight other suspected members of the notorious Black Gorilla family gang. They have long been a target of law enforcement, these pictures taken in 2013, when McCants and others were arrested on state charges. Then police commissioner Anthony Batts declaring the gang was terrorizing East Baltimore communities. They are responsible for the vast majority of the violence, the death, the destruction that's happening in our communities. For us, within our organization, they are our target. The state charges against McCants were later dismissed. The feds stepped in a year ago. A federal indictment accuses the nine men of racketeering, six murders, shootings, robberies, and drug dealing. Trial is set for later this month. Now, documents show there may be new evidence, the result of secret audio and video recordings of McCants and one co-defendant from an area inside the Chesapeake detention facility where the men are being held. The documents say defense counsel was given two recordings that allegedly had McCants speaking with Norman Handy, a co-defendant, about murders, kidnappings, guns, and drugs. Federal prosecutors say the recording devices were secretly put in an area of the facility called the barbershop. Defense lawyers are now trying to keep the recordings out of court. Prosecutors say there's no violation of privacy. Although the FBI obtained the recordings without a warrant, a prosecutor wrote in a letter, neither McCants nor any other detainee had a reasonable expectation of privacy in the room in which the recording devices were placed. Prosecutors often rely on wiretaps and recorded jail calls when they put together the case, far less common recordings from secret cameras inside detention facilities. We'll see what happens. There's going to be hearings on this later in the week. Reporting live tonight from East Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.